Hey everybody, Chris here from O'Reilly Auto Parts to show you how to change the rear shocks on a 99 to 07 Chevy Silverado. Before I get into that, take a second to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Today I'll be changing the shocks on this 2004 GMC Sierra, and the procedure will be similar on a lot of early Silverados from about 1999 to 2007, but be sure to know the specifics for your truck before getting started. If you're not completely comfortable doing this yourself, we'd be happy to recommend a professional technician in your area. Once you've got your supplies together, here's what you'll do. Park on a level surface. Depending on the ground clearance, you may or may not need to lift and support the rear of the truck. Removing your wheels may or may not be necessary, but will give you more room to work. Spraying penetrating oil on the bolts at the top and bottom of the shock absorber can make removing them easier. Use a box wrench and breaker bar with a 21 millimeter socket to loosen the bottom nut and bolt securing the shock and remove it. Then remove the upper shock absorber nut and bolt. At this point, you should be able to remove the shock. Set it next to your new shock to make sure you have the right replacement. There may be a slight difference in length due to a different type of internal rebound bumpers or support springs, but it won't affect performance. Before installation, it's a good idea to prime the shock absorber by fully compressing and letting it extend on its own four to five times. This will ensure that the gas and oil are in the proper position inside the shock, and it can help prevent unwanted noise when you start driving with the new shocks in place. Be sure to have the shocks upright with the dust boot or metal shield at the top when priming and when installing. Twin tube shock absorbers have to be installed in an upright position or they won't function properly. Lift the new shock absorber into place. Install the upper nut and bolt first and finger tighten. Now install and finger tighten the lower nut and bolt. If you had to raise the back end, it's safe to lower it now. Torque the nuts and bolts to 70 foot pounds. Always make sure to tighten the shock absorber bolts with the weight of the vehicle on the ground to prevent binding of the bushings in the shocks. And that's it. You'll find everything that you need for this and other jobs at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Our DIY videos are designed to help answer questions we get in our stores every day. If you found this one helpful, subscribe to our channel to get all the latest. We'll see you again soon.